over 1,200 flights come in and out of London's Heathrow Airport every day. Every year, over 60 million passengers pass through its terminals. Walking all this way does keep me fit, which is why I'm nice and slim. We got any plasters? Yeah. We got none in the aircraft for the first aid box. Oh, yes. Yeah, it's just the engineer's cut his speed. Oh, sure. That's the news. So, is that all right, that thing? Yeah, it'd be all right. I won't, I won't cry. Do you want to run under the tap, yeah, just quickly? Yeah. I'll get one of our young ladies to deal with you, Colin. I'm sure it'll make you feel a lot better. Satisfied customer, anyway. He was pleased, wasn't he? Good. I honestly can't believe that there are bees in the cabin of the aircraft, but they're in the first-class cabin, so probably exclusive bees or frequent flyers or something. John needs to start boarding his legitimate passengers in the next ten minutes. How are you? All right? Have you had? Have there been engineers on the aircraft? We've had a report of this bee buzzing. buzzing. Yeah. Oh, you're right down there, chaps. And it's nothing we should worry about, is it? Uh, yes. We did have three hours to spare in, right. in, in Sydney. Okay. Now that's obviously got down to sure. less than an yeah. hour now. Yeah. So what happens? Uh, well, we will get staff will meet you in Sydney when you get there. There right? are a number of Qantas flights go from Sydney. There to are. Christchurch. I don't. I don't know what they are at the moment. No. But our staff in Sydney, as soon as this aircraft is leave leaves, yeah. Yeah. they will rebook you on the on the best available flight. Okay. Okay. Hang on at Heathrow. Hang on Heathrow. You can. Tells us where to go, all right, what sir. hotel we're at. Okay, uh, I'm sorry. I realised that. We okay. came with all the flannel, giving the flannel in the lounge at, the, at gate four, right. which was quite good. But now, when sorry. crunch time, if you'd have known. Come on, let's go find a bus. I can help. Okay. Somebody is going to this I know. Plane. I'm sure. Now. Well, that's just what I'm going to try to get them to do. Yeah. Okay. I will try Don't to get try. them to do that. Do it. I'm going to ask do someone try. to do it for you. Yeah. Okay. With, with people who have drunk too much, it's very difficult to judge, but by looking at them, I can normally tell if they're going to go to sleep or if they're going to be aggressive or if they're going to cause a disruption to other people on board. And, and if they're going to cause a disruption, or I think they will, then I would probably not let them travel. But it's difficult for us because when it gets to this stage, we have to start taking their bags off. The Qantas flight is boarding. John must finally decide whether or not to let his drunken passenger travel. Righto, how are you feeling? Fine. Right, let's have a look at your boarding card. I've got your boarding card. Okay, right. Um, if you go on nice and quietly. Yeah, no Okay, just sit in your seat. Yeah. But we won't be serving you any alcoholic drink on board. No okay, and we will be telling the crew that. Yeah, that's fine. All right? So what, what's it like, the business class in, uh, in, in Qantas? Footrest, comfortable, plenty to eat, plenty to drink. Can you sleep Nice, smooth, well. Jeff. Yes, of course. Big. No problem at all. Big seats, plenty of room to move around. But it's not a bed. It's nice host. But it's not a bed. <laughs> the bass is you roll us all over again. The fans' enthusiasm has engulfed the band. John's escorting duties aren't going to plan. Is this your first time to Australia? Yeah, no. Oh, excellent, you'll love it. I know, but I'm a bit scared though, because it's so far away. No, it's, you'll love it. Sure. I promise, oh. you'll love it. John. Okay, all right, chaps, John, see you soon. Take it, all the best. Yeah. Have a good trip. See, see you when you get back. See you when you get back. All the best. Thank Let's look you. after those passengers for us. I'm sure you will. All right, take care. Thank you. Cheers. Good. All right, oh, out of the way. Blue know my name. That's good, isn't it? John, John. It's very busy tonight. A lot of people going to Australia for their holidays. And we've got about uh, 850 people to check in in the next three hours. I hate these radios. Oh, rude noise. Seems good. To me, he's going to sit in these two seats here, him and his wife, near to each other, and the rest of the entourage are sitting around them. So they should be pretty comfortable. Converts into a bed. 
They'll probably have a better night's sleep than me tonight. John needs to trace the exact whereabouts of the Australian Prime Minister. Mike, it's John here. Are you likely to be at the Spellthorn suite in a while? Hello. Hello, Michael, can you hear me? <laughs> Michael, can you hear me? In all my years, I've never been out here before, so I'm loving this. Okay. It's a good part of the job. Yeah. Request permission to cross runway 27 left, block 85. I feel like a big kid again crossing the runway. <laughs> <laughs> Never done this. Just checking to see how many more we've got to come. I think we're practically correct. John's flight has almost finished boarding. Is that it? Four missing. Four missing. OK. Oh, there would be, wouldn't there? Four missing. If these four people are not on board and don't turn up, we've got to uh, offload bags to take their bags off, which will then delay the aircraft. So I seem to spend my life searching for people in this airport. You've only just made it, sir. Should have gone, should have gone a minute ago. Three down, one to go. So you're travelling Qantas? Which, which airline are you travelling on, sir? Qantas. OK, you're late, sir. So where have you been, sir? In Russia. OK, all right, but where have you been tonight? To where, have you, where have you been? Sorry? Where have you been? I've been here waiting for you, sir, to board. OK, I'll be in Russia, mate. Speaking OK, fine, all right. Can, yeah. you OK, all right. Do you have your onward coupon, sir? And your passport? Sir, we need to be quick because the aircraft should have gone five minutes ago, but we've been waiting for well, you, Well, mate, sir. I can't help that. OK, all right. But you should have been here on time, sir. I do the best I can, OK. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Just keep that hand. So you really will need to be quick, otherwise the aircraft will go hey, without what's you. What's your name? My name is John Cull. I'm the duty manager.